Alright guys, so I posted this Snapchat on my Snapchat story, and I got three replies from my friends saying, you look super young in this picture, and then I go on my interactions on Twitter, and I got like five or six tweets right away saying, dude, you look like you're 12 in that picture, you look so young in that picture. I don't see it. Well, kinda. I kinda do now. I don't know. Do I really look that young in that picture? I really didn't even realize it when I posted it. I'm just like, oh, that, that's a pretty sweet selfie, so I'm gonna post it. But anyways, what's going on, guys? FaZe Rug here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video, and I think I'm just gonna be vlogging today because um, I don't wanna do a reaction video or anything like that. So today's Friday, which means the weekend is here. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and safe, of course. Just be safe wherever you are. Um, I watched this video on the trending page by The Gabby Show, and she talked about how someone took like a lot of drugs and um, OD'd in class and it was like super scary to watch like it's it's super sad she raised awareness that if you see someone that they look like they're not right like they look like they're on a drug like say something do something about it don't just let them go because who knows how much drugs they took who knows what they're on and who knows like if it's lethal or if it's if they're gonna die like so if you know someone who sold drugs to someone or if you see someone who looks like they're on drugs and they don't look right help them out because that was a truly sad story to hear and um you know we just have to raise awareness for stuff like that there's only one reason why i'm wearing these ripped up vans right now and before i tell you guys that reason i want to inform you guys about my foot since a lot of you guys have been asking about it it is not a hundred percent healed but um, I can actually like walk not normal like I can't put full pressure on it But every day I try to walk around my house like just normal It's kind of hard because once I put pressure on the back heels when like I feel something But I feel like this injury is gonna be fully healed within one week It feels a lot a lot better than when it first happened obviously so that's a great sign I'm probably gonna be playing basketball again um, our next game on Tuesday So that's gonna be awesome and just the fact that I'm gonna be able to play basketball again I'm super excited right now you guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing these ripped up vans and the only time I wear wear these vans is when I go to the tunnel and you guys are probably wondering like why are you gonna go back to the tunnel right now and I asked myself the same thing but um there was a lot of people that said I should go back to try to find the Ouija board because if you guys missed my Ouija board in the haunted tunnel video I dropped the planchette and it went into the little like pond and then we left the Ouija board there so I'm actually gonna go back to see if the Ouija board is still there I highly doubt it will be because like there's a lot of people that just go there now because people want to like explore the tunnel I don't suggest it like some fans come up to me in public and like ask me where the haunted tunnel is And I strictly tell them I'm like do not go there. It's dangerous like please don't go there I, I just don't suggest it but um, people obviously find it and they still go I'm gonna go back to see if the Ouija board is still there and of course I'm gonna go back in the daytime I'm not stupid. Hopefully we find something I mean that would be pretty creepy if the Ouija board is still there and if I somehow find the planchette but let's go check it out. Hope you guys do enjoy this video, and it would be awesome if we found it. Well, I'm blocked off, guys. This truck literally broke down in the middle of the road. Are you kidding me? Okay, all right. Well, it looks like everyone's turning in here. Okay, guys, this is already looking sketchy. The entrance to go inside there, like, to go down there is blocked off by, like, plants and stuff. And if you guys didn't know, like, um, I'm gonna make this quick. Before we did the Ouija board in the Haunted Tunnel, Anthony and I came the night before. We actually did it at night. And we heard whistling down there and we ended up not going down there because we're like we're not freaking risking our lives here About 30 minutes later. There was like a chopper in the air Looking for someone with a light flashing down around the tunnel and I'm like there's no way it could be over the tunnel and I Went past this. I drove past here and there were like eight cop cars like where I'm parked right now And now it looks like it's blocked off. So this is scary already even though it's daytime Look how much the grass has grown since we last came but look, this is what I mean. It's blocked off. There wasn't anything here. Why do I already hear shit? I shit you guys know. I don't know if it's because I'm paranoid, but I already hear shit coming from the tunnel. Okay, see, usually I'm with Anthony, so like I'm not that scared. But I hit up Anthony and he was super, super busy. He couldn't make it, which sucks because I hate coming here alone. The only other time I came here alone was when I actually, I think I was crazy back then. I went inside the tunnel and I tried exploring it by myself. Oh my God, if I actually find the Ouija board, bro, that would actually be so trippy. Damn, I tell myself I'm never coming here again. I always get pressured into doing it. I'm like, okay, we left the Ouija board there. How crazy would it be? Okay, so here's the tunnel. We left the Ouija board on the top of there. I already knew it wasn't going to be at the top of there. But let's see if we, like, look around. That would be crazy if we found it. Whoa, the pond is, like, dried out. Dude, maybe we could find the planchette. Shit, there are so many bees here. No way, dude. I see my table. Yeah, it's hella broken. That's the table we used to do the Ouija board. Why am I here right now? 
Okay, so, um, we left the Ouija board right here. Guys, just look at how sketchy this place is. I can't believe Anthony and I actually explored this. I don't even have a flashlight. I just have my phone flashlight. So that's not gonna do anything. Okay, I'm gonna look around here. Okay, so, like, I found the table, but I didn't find the Ouija board. Fuck. Oh, my God. What the hell? Bro, I, w I wish I had my flashlight. All right. <sighs> Dude, I've never been on this side because there's usually water. I'm so scared right now. This is where Anthony and I went clown hunting. Oh my god. I'm on a mission here, dude. Whoa, what is in there? There's some shit moving in the water. Dude, imagine- Oh my god, is that it down there? No way. Is that it? What is that? I don't think that's the Ouija board, but... What the fuck is that? Dude, look at the tunnel from here. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Aww. Look, this is what I'm talking about. What are those? I'm gonna check if I have the flashlight in my freaking car. I don't think I do, but if I do, then I'll go a little bit further down the tunnel, but I, I really wanted to find the Ouija board. All right, guys, so thankfully I found this in my car. It's like a head flashlight. Anthony and I used that in like our Exploring the Haunted Tunnel Part 2. We put them on our head. Now I can actually see kind of deep in the tunnel. I don't have to go and it's like pitch black, so I'm hoping the Ouija board is in there. Now we can kind of see. What the fuck, bro? Wait, I legit see something. Do you guys see that over there? Wait, I see something on the floor over there. Okay, that's pretty deep in there, but I'm gonna just go see what the fuck it is. Oh my God, I'm so scared. No way, no way, no fucking way, dude. No way, that's a fucking doll. No way, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no. Dude, there's a fucking baby doll. What? There's actually no way, bro. There's no way there's a doll in this tunnel right now. How is there a fucking baby doll in here? No. Oh my god. Yo. Yo, someone had to have put that in there. There's no way it could just appear. I don't believe it. I don't fucking believe this shit. The only reason that shit's fucking scary- Hold on, let me get out of here. The only reason that shit's scary is because the legend of this tunnel is that it was a little girl who got hit by a drunk driver. And when we played the Ouija board, she said she was lonely. Hold on, I'm legit scared right now, what the fuck? I'm sorry for my language guy, no fucking way. No way. That doll had to have been put there by someone that knows about this tunnel. There's no way it could just appear. I've never ran that fast before. No way. All right, whoever did that, just speak up because that's actually creepy. I wonder how long it's been in there. I'm out of this place, guys. No way I found a freaking baby doll in the tunnel, dude. I was going to look for the Ouija board. No sign of the Ouija board, and I see something from a distance, and I see, like, little legs, and I'm like, it can't be a doll. Oh, my God. Thankfully, thankfully, there was no blood on the doll, because that would have been so fucking creepy, but regardless, how's there a baby doll in there? I'm telling you, it had to be someone that put it in there, because, like... Someone's just trying to mess with me. Someone probably knew that I was gonna go look for the Ouija board. I didn't say that. The last thing I said about the tunnel was that I would never step foot there again. But everyone wanted me to go check if the Ouija board was still in there. And I go and there's a fucking baby doll in there. And it only makes sense and it's scary because the girl who died and who haunts that tunnel died when she was eight. And she kept saying, keep me company. And I don't know, that could be a sign of something, unless someone put it there, like I said. There's no way someone would go to troll me and just put, like, a baby doll in there. Because, like I said, the last thing I said about this tunnel is that I would never step foot in there again. No way. Okay, guys, I'm home and alive, don't worry. But after watching this, like, 
the amount of times I said no way, no way, no way, no way, like I think I said it like a billion times, I was actually in disbelief and shock and I still am. Think about it, I went to go look for the Ouija board and I find a baby doll, like how creepy is that? Like, I don't know who would do that, Cause some people have messed with me in the tunnel, like people like wrote rug, we're coming for you, stuff in the tunnel and like I don't know who did this or if it just randomly appeared there. But this was like one of the scariest experiences in the tunnel. Like what? I wish you guys felt what I felt when I saw the doll, like when I first fucking saw it. I wish you guys felt what I felt, like <laughs> no, no way that's real. Okay, well, I'm gonna wrap up the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to drop a like. I know I'm stupid for going back to the tunnel and I said I would never do it again, but I just wanted to see if the Ouija board was there. I'm sorry, that's fucking insane. And whoever did it, honestly, speak up. I wanna see in the comment section, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that say they did it as a joke, but I wanna know who really did that because you scared the shit out of me. Let me know what you guys think. Like, there's so many meanings to this tunnel, like so many conspiracies and so much shit that's like just so weird oh my god okay guys subscribe if you're new turn on post notifications to be notified when i upload every day and i'm out peace